stock should I buy? Nancy, you're the greatest options trader of all time. I just want to know what stocks I should buy. Well, that's a valid question for the former Speaker of the House, whose stock portfolio, stock portfolio tends to beat the S&P 500 every year. And uh, alas, comedian Alex Stranger uh, was quickly escorted out of the room when he attempted to ask that question. Now, the exchange took place at a book signing event for Nancy Pelosi's uh, new book. This was in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the book is called The Art of Power. Now, let's break this down section by section because uh, he, and he's a comedian, uh, begins by buttering her up, which I think is the right approach. But they were on to him. Take a look. I want to say how much I appreciate your like fierce, staunch defending of democracy. It really means so, so much, you know. And, and um, you know, like honestly, like I'm, I'm really scared about you know Donald Trump winning the election. And honestly, with all the disinformation on X, like I, you know, I honestly the only chance that, like that we have is to Donald, for Donald Trump to actually spend the rest of his life in prison. That's the only hope for democracy. All right, so thanking her for saving democracy, you know, hoping that Donald Trump loses. She says, you know, we just have to win the election. But if you pay close attention, her handlers are around and they're already on to him, right? Like they're already getting ready to kick him out. But he hasn't said anything wrong yet. So it's kind of interesting that they made that decision. I don't know if something tipped it off, like maybe they saw the other guy taping, maybe they heard something about him. But even if you get close to anyone in power, mm -hmm. they get nervous, right? They they're do like, get nervous. Yeah, they're like, yeah. wait, 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 do you have a $5,000 check? You don't even have a $5,000 check. Why are you talking to me? Yeah, why are you talking to me? Even if you're saying nice things, come on, move on. Get this guy out of here. Okay, but it, but in this case, by the way, to be fair, the handlers they were right. He was going to troll it. Yeah, that that is true. So I guess they had good instincts. But I also have to give him credit because he came correct. He wrote the he wore the appropriate disguise. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the Bernie hat he could have done without because oh that'll turn her off. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But he did wear a T-shirt. Let's take a look at it. It was the white dudes for Harris T-shirt. Yep, and he wore the mask, and he's a little over the top because he did every stereotype. I know he did. Right? It's amazing. Okay, so what happens next? Well, take a look. We do, well, Nancy. Listen, last question: What stocks should I buy, Nancy? You're the greatest options trader of all time. I just want to know what stocks I should buy. figures a year in Congress and has a hundred million dollar net worth. Don't y'all want to know what stocks you should no. buy? Come on. No. I enjoyed that. I, I look I know that this isn't a persuasive argument for people who support, you know, Nancy Pelosi or the Democratic Party overall, right? I get it. Like the oh, they're being hypocrites argument never persuades anyone. But I do think he makes a good point, right? You say that you care about income inequality, but why are you a trading individual stocks that you might have like info on in closed door briefings that the rest of the public isn't privy to, thus insider information. And also, you're a member of Congress trading individual stocks. That means you get to make decisions on legislation that could either hurt or help the bottom line of these companies that you're trading stocks of. Yeah, look, so he's trolling on, on a lot of fronts there. Yeah. You know, the cops are an yep. institution of white supremacy, we should defund the police. Uh, so. That's a nice little trolling thing, but I, it was I to me it never got offensive. He never said anything Agreed. where I was like, whoa, whoa, that's out of bounds, right? And then talking about closing the wealth gap, come on, let's be honest, that's a little funny, okay, it, in this context, yeah. right? And but his main points about how she's great at picking stocks. If you don't know, it's not just that, hey, it seems like they have an unfair advantage if they have all this information. And if you remember during COVID, a lot of the senators and Congress people got the information that the shutdowns were coming and they invested in things that would 
do well during a shutdown and they got rid of their stocks that would do poorly because of a shutdown, right? So all of that is true, but on top of that, Nancy Pelosi's portfolio and her husband's has massively overperformed the markets. So the markets have been booming in her time in office anyway, but when you massively overperform booming markets, it does make people go, hmm. And that's a legitimate question whether it comes from the right or the left. And so uh, from what I could tell and and I randomly uh, after my Lex Friedman interview, Alex Stranger actually reached out to me and said, would you be willing to come on my podcast? So I said, sure, I don't mind. You know, I do right wing, left wing. I don't mind anything, right, in terms of a conversation. Uh, but uh, so I looked through his timeline and, and got a little bit more familiarized with him and he's definitely right wing, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, but progressives have the same exact criticism of Nancy Pelosi and the insider trading exactly, on yes. stocks. No, so. th this is an issue where I think uh, voters on both sides of the aisle agree. And they, I remember that was like the one and only applause line I got when I debated Ben Shapiro before the Pennsylvania Chamber of Commerce. Because it is true, I mean, you have these politicians who are totally able to put their thumb on the scale in terms of legislation that impacts these corporations. You think they're gonna maybe work for their own enrichment rather than what's best for the American people or what's best for the country? I mean, it's an issue, it's a huge conflict of interest. And by the way, my favorite Nancy Pelosi moment when it comes to this specific issue was when she was asked about it during a press brief briefing and she got real salty about the notion of doing something about it. Let's watch. The members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress. No, I don't know to the second one. Um, any, uh, we have a responsibility to report. This is a free market and people, we are a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. Oh, and you participate, Nancy. You participate every day and you do it well. You do it real well. You beat the <laughs> S&P 500 every year. Wow, how do you do it? Now there's people that are following her trades and copying them because yeah, they're smart. making so much money, Yeah. right? So she says it's a free market, especially for you. Is it a free market though? <laughs> but that's exactly what yeah. I was gonna say, Anna. Is it a free market if you have information we don't have? That's not really a free market. And again, that's not just about Nancy Pelosi. And again, the real issue here is that it's not a crime. It's not illegal for these politicians to have this information that the public doesn't have and then trade based on it. And so the only rule they have is they have to report their trades. Okay, yeah, but you still profit off of them and there's no accountability. You could report, yeah, I made a thousand times the market, she didn't. But you, you could even do that and everybody's like, oh, great, thanks for reporting it. Okay, yeah, so I, that's not a thing. That policy barely has any teeth either because uh, I remember doing a story about how a bunch of members of Congress weren't even fulfilling that you know, that requirement of reporting. Yeah, because they go to the ethics committee, the ethics committee is filled with people who are doing the same thing. Yeah, exactly. The ethics committee in Congress is a joke, it it's really a hilarious is. joke. But look, last thing is for the folks online, I get it, he was trolling and you guys are like, boo, get him out of here. And that's a normal reaction to have against a troll of someone who you came to see and get her book and sign it say. But please, like mainstream Democrats, like when it comes to the insider, just because the right wing says it's bad doesn't mean that it is good, right? Don't re overreact and go, no, if Democrats are doing insider trading based on the secret information they have, then it's a good thing. Don't yaz queen Nancy Pelosi on insider trading. Oh my God, please don't do that. <laughs> okay. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, but yeah. you know that they that a lot of people do. The minute that uh, yes, Democrats- no, that's the current. That is how politics works in America at this moment. And I'm trying to break through that I'm and failing miserably. But just because <laughs> one side says something doesn't mean you automatically have to take the opposite position. They might actually have a point. Think about it, consider it, investigate it. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.